YouTube Preppers. This is the College Prepper. Back at the retreat location. We finally got a break in the weather. We had almost two weeks of solid rain. And today it's very windy, but we had a chance to set up the HF radio station and to try out Chameleon Antennas M-Pass or Modular Portable Antenna System in the vertical configuration with the mill whip and the mill whip extender. The total length of this antenna is 17 feet long. The mill whip extender, which is something you really want when you start working 80 meters in those lower frequencies, is about six and a half feet long. We have it connected to the QRP station here, the FT817ND, powered by hardened power systems, QRP Ranger, the 100 watt hour battery pack. You can see here on the monitor, I hope the wind doesn't wash this out or the glare. propagation today so I have not been able to communicate with anybody on HF voice or data. We'll get a little closer to the antenna here. You have the hybrid micro base there connected to the tuner with the stainless steel jaw mount and we have it in the vertical configuration as you can see and I left the Allen key in there to show you that if you loosen that the bracket is notched which allows us to pivot the antenna to the horizontal position and change to a Nivis configuration or near vertical incident sky wave. Right now in the vertical position, if you were to imagine a donut wrapped around this antenna, the radiation pattern of this antenna is at 90 degrees from the antenna going out horizontally. Well, that's good when you want to talk long distances, but for me I like to do a lot of HF data operations with stations within my state or neighboring states. So in that case, I want to tip the antenna down horizontally and point my radiant power up, straight up into the atmosphere so it comes down closer. And as you can see, it's quite windy today, but that antenna is holding up quite well. Now, I'm sorry I can't show you actual operations, but there's no propagation. But we'll review the station here real quick. I have the bug out bag from m-3.net or USN ER Docs channel, and I'll put a link down below. Of course, hardened power systems battery pack. It's a 100 watt hour battery. On the left, you have average consumption and status of your battery charge on the right hand side. Anderson power pole connectors in the front and the back, and a port to hook up a 12 volt solar panel to keep this operational. On the FT817ND, I also have chameleon antennas brackets that help protect the knobs with the carrying strap. So that protects everything real nicely and it has the little legs or kickstand so you can get a better view of the faceplate of the radio. Of course, we have the packet modem, the SCS Pactor 4 modem with the P4 Dragon. The laptop which is falling apart, I'm starting to lose keys, pieces are falling off, and the hinge over there is broken. So if any of you guys can recommend a cost-effective, durable laptop, please leave a comment down below because I don't think I have but a couple weeks left in this one. We beat this one up pretty badly in the field making videos. I think it's time for a new one. And of course the MFJ971 antenna tuner. So I'm going to pause it real quick here and then lay this antenna down in the Nivis configuration and show you what that looks like. Okay, so now we have the antenna tipped horizontally or in a Nivis configuration. That's where the mill whip extender ends and the mill whip begins. Again, giving you a total of 17 feet. It's laying down horizontally, so now the radiated power coming off this antenna is going to shoot straight up into the atmosphere, propagate back down closer to this station where I'm operating, so I can work within my state or within my region. So it's nice to have that flexibility with this antenna that you can pivot it, tip it to do low takeoff angle for long distance communications, and then tip it down for Nivis communications. And this antenna takes about 10 minutes to set up with the station and get operational. I also have a wire hanging off the ground side of this system. That's the counterpoise. Here I'm just using copper wire. This antenna does come with a counterpoise kit. Unfortunately, I left that back at the home station when I came out here this weekend. So I'm using a substitute wire, but it has the same effect. In future videos, I'll have all the parts here and hopefully have propagation so you can actually see this antenna work. So I'll go ahead and break this antenna down and show you how big it is. Be right back. All right, guys, took about two minutes to break the antenna down. We have the claw mount. We have the hybrid micro base. We have the mill whip with the mill whip extender. The only thing missing here is the counterpoise wire, and I'll add that into the next video and make sure I have everything. One recommendation I do have if you operate with this antenna in the field is bring along a crescent wrench so you can tighten the hardware as you're pivoting the antenna. And Chameleon Antennas provides this Allen key to adjust the pivot 
Well, I'm going to paint mine fluorescent orange. On more than one occasion today, I dropped it in the grass and had a real hard time looking for it. So we're going to make that a bright color so when I drop it in the future, I have a better chance of finding it. And again, I'm sorry, we weren't able to show any operations, but as you can see here on the computer, propagation is a red line today. And it just refreshed and didn't get any better. And then we had another failure today. The element in my microphone here for the FT817ND went bad. So I have pushed to talk, but no transmit audio. So we went online this morning and ordered a new one of those. One is none, two is one. I'm going to have a spare next time in case it happens again. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with another video on HF field deployment and what happens when you have no propagation and also an opportunity to show off chameleon antennas, MPAS, modular portable antenna system. Thanks for watching, guys.